The 12,000 strong North Korean group will not help Russia radically change the situation on the front, Russian Z War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov is sure. He wrote about this on his blog on Telegram. He claims that the situation at the front has now reached a critical point. Both sides of the conflict are exhausted. If the plan to transfer at least a 50,000 strong group of North Korean troops to the front fails, then the Russian Federation will find itself in a bind because the balance of exhaustion has arrived and even a small weight thrown onto one of the two scales can radically change the situation. Wrote the Z War correspondent, he emphasized that the Russian army clearly shows signs of decay. Soldiers are slipping into crime, which is compounded by an acute personnel shortage. The military is tired of war, and all this is accompanied by a worsening economic situation in Russia. The new mobilization, according to Kalashnikov, is unpopular among the people and could lead to unpredictable consequences. In addition, the Russian Federation system will not be able to handle a new recruitment. There are no officers, equipment or weapons. Given that removing so many people from the economy is a blow to it and an exacerbation of the migrant crisis, wrote the Z War correspondent. He is confident that the Russian armed forces will soon have no strength left, not only for an offensive, but even to hold the territories already captured. I sense that there may be a tendency for the external war to return into a civil war. We are hearing alarm bells, the Russian propagandist said. Earlier, another Russian Z blogger and volunteer, Vladimir Grubnik, said that due to the lack of reserves in the Russian army, even servicemen of the strategic missile forces are being transferred to the infantry for assaults. That is, the very nuclear weapons that Putin constantly shakes, in which case, there will soon be no one to launch them. Missile men are being sent to storm the plantings of the Donetsk region. Do we really have no reserves at all? Grubnik asked. The Z blogger also does not understand who exactly will launch the missiles if such a question arises before the Russian leadership. It was previously reported that even air defense crews are being transferred to assault units. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan arrived in the Russian city of Kazan on Wednesday to take part in the BRICS summit. Erdogan is also expected to hold bilateral talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The BRICS alliance, which aims to counterbalance the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but is expanding rapidly. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others expressed a desire to be members. Turkey applied to join the BRICS group at a time when the NATO member and European Union candidate is increasingly frustrated with the West. Turkey's EU membership talks have stalled since 2016 due to disputes with Cyprus and concerns over human rights. Turkey's relations with Washington have been strained over its removal from the F-35 fighter jet program after procuring a Russian missile defense system. Erdogan also has accused the US and other Western allies of alleged complicity in Israel's military actions in Gaza. The leaders of India, 
South Africa and China arrived in the Russian city of Kazan on Tuesday for a meeting of the BRICS bloc of developing economies, defying predictions that the war in Ukraine and an international arrest warrant would turn Russia's President Vladimir Putin into a pariah. China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi and South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa were greeted by an honor guard and platters of Russian delicacies when they touched down at Kazan's airport. The BRICS alliance, which aims to counterbalance the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but is expanding rapidly. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others have expressed a desire to be members.